Well, Jessica and I met on Interstellar, uh, but we met more on the press tour than we did because we were characters yeah. didn't have any scenes together. And I, you know, and we just, I don't know, we we just started hanging out more and more and more. And then eventually we fell in love. <laughs> and then, so when she, when she sent over the, the film that this was based on and said she was interested in exploring it and doing uh, an adaptation uh, in English, I was just, I was just all in. It just seemed, I, I was just really excited to go on a creative adventure with her and see what it was like and learn from her as I do in so many ways. And um and then one very grim June in New Jersey, we made <laughs> this very dark film. Yes. And now we're back to just having fun. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. The mood is lightened. And Jessica, uh, director Benoit Delon, he said he couldn't have, he thought he couldn't have made this film had he not been a father himself. I wondered for you, kind of being a mother yourself, um, what that kind of aided you in delving into Alice's his character and obviously the, the story as a whole. Oh, gosh. Um, I didn't think in terms <clears throat> of my personal life, in terms of being a mom, I thought a lot about what would it be like to be in a society and mm -hmm. to be in love with a man and a partnership with a man who really had the power to commit you if you weren't towing the line in some aspect. And the one role uh, for Alice that she's really valued by and, and, and visible in society is that of mother. So how important does that then become? Yes, of course, there's an emotional um, connection and love and desire um, to nurture uh, her child, but it's also a societal thing of like, what happens when you're denied the thing that has given you value, um, which is motherhood in, that, in the 1960s. And so that's really kind of was my way in to the character. Absolutely. And and like you talk, talked about those um, emotional scenes and the, those um, sort of painful emotional moments, how do you kind of approach them at the start of the day? You know, they're coming up, they're on the script that day. Um, and, and kind of how do you recover after those moments? Uh, I'm not just saying this. I have genuinely blocked it out. I no. don't I don't know. Um, I what I remember is I asked Jessica and Benoit uh, who I was lucky enough to work with on a film called One Day, and I know Jessica worked with beforehand also. And I said, I just, guys, I know we've got history, but I need you, please only call me by my character's name. Please do not ask me about my personal life. Please do not ask about my children. I know you love me, but um, and I love you too, but I just need to just kind of walk through a threshold every day. And then at the end of the day, I need to leave. And so I just kept a very, very sizable gulf between myself and the character. And I don't know, I don't really remember uh, how it happened. Um, it was just 24 days. Um, and I was just, I just remember looking up and then like moments when I felt like I was myself, I would look up and I would see Jessica like gripped by anxiety and I'd be so worried and be like, oh no, no, it's not Jess, it's, 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 it's Alice. And so it was a very strange, very strange, very strange blur. The longest and the shortest 24 days <laughs> on a Good film. And now it's nice. And now we're back to this yes, part, which is so much, so much. <laughs> I know. I actually wanted to ask you about that, that, you know, that this, I mean, it does sound very, very short. Um, what does that actually mean in practice? Is it really long days? Is it every moment of every day kind of spent together, meal times, all the rest of it? No, I mean, we were both producing it as well. And it was a very limited budget for a period uh, piece film. So there were days we didn't know, we're like, I we don't know if this scene will be in the movie. If we if mm. we don't shoot it today, it's cut from the movie. We're not gonna shoot it. So it was quite stressful yeah. um, working with that kind of speed. I mean, we'd get, as Annie was saying earlier, we'd get two takes sometimes of something. Uh, it was really, I mean, it, it fed my anxiety. That's for sure. I have to say Jessica only ever needed one take. I've never That's seen anything true. like it. It was such a all. take one performance. Like crazy, but that also upped the ante because I was just like, I cannot leave my scene partner hanging in this. So it, as Jessica said, mm. really, really well, it was both the longest and the shortest shoot because you just literally couldn't ever drop, you couldn't take your eye off the ball. And so even if you were, um, even if you got a break, you couldn't actually take a break. And um, and so we were just kind of in it 
and we we did we did the deep dive. Yeah. And then we came up and we haven't talked about it. Since. I know. Well, we did. We, we did. We did. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. I'm just exaggerating the dramatic <laughs> effect. Wonderful. Oh, an absolute pleasure to talk to you. You're both exceptional in it. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. Hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey. hey.